record number supporting an event like this. What do these events mean? Well, they mean a lot for just human motivation. We're in a terrible economy. People don't have a lot to feel great about. And so personal achievement and uh, accelerated um, expectations that people have and their ability to meet them, I mean, that's what sports really is. It allows us to play out some of the difficult parts of our life on the stage of athletics where you can actually win. Often in life, it's hard to win. And then the other thing is what it does to physical fitness. We are not as physically fit as the generation that preceded us. 25% of our children are obese. Uh, we're eating the wrong products. We don't have a good nutritional program. And we're starting to turn that around, and I'm real excited about that. How are, uh, how's your uh, hand doing from signing the, uh, the the vetoes? Does that make you forget about coming here, make you forget about it for a little while? Well, my, it, it took my hand a day or two, but it's really my back from bending over 6,700 times. But I, I'll tell you, uh, as painful as it was, I thought it was for a good cause, one that will send a message that we have to practice fiscal discipline in this state. We and all the other states that overspent, and people say, we well, are taking things away, but they're things that in some ways we never should have had because we did everything on credit. And we as a generation, our whole generation, has got to get off this concept that you borrow now and borrow later and never think the day of reckoning is going to come. You can't spend money that you don't have, and I think we've learned that, and that's why we're trying to, to get people in Albany to uh, observe that as they help lead this state. Governor, Governor Jimmy Veal, oh, okay. um, you kind of played your last part on the budget with the, the June 28th like, extender. No I'm wondering as the legislature comes back to deal with the revenue bill, what, what, what role do you have and what, what do you have left to do here? Well, the reason that I have not been negotiating with legislative leaders is not that I'm unwilling to talk to them. It's that I set up a deadline. And the deadline was pass my budget on June 28th or pass your budget. So they put their budget out, but they haven't passed it. Now, when they complete passing their budget and I get to uh, either sign it or veto the parts that I think make the state's fiscal situation unbalanced, uh, there may be yet another card to play. Because if I don't see a contingency plan on Medicaid, I will call the legislature back in this special session. And if that budget is out of balance, I'll do the same for that as well. So see, Jimmy, sometimes there are a few cards that aren't on the table yet. What else is left for you, though, in this round? What are your big priorities? What else do you have to get accomplished? I think there's some, uh, some legislation that I, I think we can still pass on ethics reform, perhaps, um, some agreements on some economic development pieces. Um, I would certainly like to see us uh, 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 address the unemployment insurance, because people are out here, they are looking for jobs, but the jobs just aren't there, and I think as a society, we need to help them as well. And uh, so, you know, in addition to that, what I would really like to do is to um, make sure uh, that whoever becomes governor after me is completely updated on homeland security changes that are uh, occurring in Washington, obviously on compliance with the Health Care Reform Act, which has 36 protocols that have to be dealt with in 2010. So whoever is governor in 2011 has to be able to hit the ground running. So uh, I want to play a part in uh, getting the next administration so they'll be fully prepared. Um, it, it's my way of trying to, um, in, uh, you know, maybe address the fact that when I became governor, I was not prepared. A couple more questions? Well, yeah, Governor, 